Hey everyone, this is Digital Cold. I'm here to show you my VGA implementation of Freefold's ARM 2012 graphics demo. To start, I have the original demo running here, and I have my C version of the demo running here. Now, notice they're not the same. Well, that's because I, I made a little modification so that my uh, C version doesn't use any negative numbers. But to get away with that, uh, I ended up uh, just taking the just one quadrant and mirroring it around the origin. All right, well, let's just get to the meat of the, the video and uh, go ahead and show you how this looks on FPGA. And here's my FPGA. It's a Digilent Basis 2 uh, FPGA development board. And on it is the Spartan 3E, that little chip right there. Kind of an old FPGA, but it gets the job done. So here it is. As you can see, it looks quite impressive on the big screen. And although the display only has a maximum of uh, 256 colors, it still looks great. And uh, I'm sure it looks even better on this video now that the, the quality is so low. I have a few controls. Uh, one of them being pause, if I can find a, a good frame and uh, stop it there and figure out what's going on. Um, as you notice, uh, you might see a little tearing in the video. Uh, that's not my camera. That's the FPGA uh, causing uh, VGA issues. Now, it's not an issue with my FPGA, and, but it's with the fact that it, I'm using the built-in clock, and the built-in clock is unstable. And stable enough so that the VGA timing is not exactly as precise as the monitor would like. So it ends up having little artifacts on the sides and strange anomalies. But uh, from a distance, it's not too bad to stare at. So, in addition to pause, uh, I have a control to speed up. It's a little boring after all, so that's why I added a, a third toggle that unlimits the time value. And essentially what this is, is what this uh, demo is doing is it uh, has a little counter running, counting from uh, 0 to 255, and that's essentially controlling the animation. So if I go ahead and unlimit it, uh, you notice the animation changes because uh, it can go through different uh, frames in the animation that we've never seen before. Things do get a little interesting but then again, uh, there is some boring parts, so that's why I added the, the second switch so I can speed it up. But I'll let you stare at this for a little bit. It's quite colorful, and it ends up uh, pretty much diving into chaos. But there are some interesting parts in this new unlimited demo. So if I speed it up, let's see what we can find. The colors do get very interesting, and here's a interesting part. It's like the red background is shining through. Further along, Colors completely change. New textures come out. Can you kind of give it a 3D feeling? Oh yeah, this is a cool part. Well, anyway, you get the idea. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, this is Digital Cold uh, signing out.